Hi folks, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is obviously a vlog of some sort. What I'm doing today is I'm going to be finally tackling my bookshelves. Do you want to come along for the ride? Because this is going to be a multi-day endeavor. So I'm actually just going to sit down and explain what I'm doing for a second. So these are my bookshelves. I'm going to be really honest. I have not looked at my bookshelves in over a year and you might be like well they're right there like you must look at them and here's the thing i have not <laughs> it's also organized in kind of a weird way so right now over here is my red books and they're organized by rainbow which is great except i don't know what like i don't know what's up there i don't i don't know how to find stuff <laughs> and while it's really aesthetically pretty and nice for videos and whatnot it's just not doing anything for me and then over on this other half so it kind of starts like down here these are organized by author name i need to water that plant don't judge me but my thing is is that again i don't know what's on these shelves i have not looked on these shelves in over a year um i've had new books that need to go up there i've had red books that need to go up there i have like literally stacks and piles of books around my house they're not all gonna fit up here. These shelves, in case you can't tell, are full. I might need to buy some extender pieces from Ikea up here because I don't have space. And so I'll be honest, even in my unread books, I don't know what I have. Um, a lot of them, really, garbage man right now. Because I don't know what I have and how much space I have and whatnot. Um, also, this is a, at least to me, feels like a major undertaking because all of the rainbow books I have to now sort by author last name uh, which is going to take fucking forever what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one shelf at a time break it down and I'm going to break it down in my brain in ways that hopefully I can accomplish you guys are going to come along for the ride yeah I <laughs> There's just stuff everywhere. <laughs> oh, one more thing is that I would love to do a time lapse of me actually doing this. Um, I'm going to include a couple of time lapses. The thing is, is that I do want to use my phone to listen to podcasts and stuff. So I, if I use it to film, I'm not going to do that. So there's going to be some time lapses here and there. But uh, first things first is I'm going to start literally shelf one up here and deal with that. And then work my way through i'm also racing against the clock because i had a fun adult time treat and so that will kick in at some point during this process which will make it either more or less fun so i'm ready to do this i got my wrinkly bikini on i'm not ready i'm not ready to do this okay <laughs> here's some new books i just hauled if you're so curious you just need to go, oh god. Yeah, okay, it's happening. Oh no. Fuck me. Empty picture frames that I was supposed to put my wedding pictures in five years ago. Yeah, so here it begins, and um, there's a couple of my plants. Yeah, this there's no easy or fast way to do this. Like, I just had to struggle through it, and um, yeah, it wasn't fun. <laughs> 10 out of 10, don't recommend, and this is only shelf one, so yay. Okay, so I did that top shelf. So the top shelf is now alphabetized, so now I have to move the second shelf stuff up into there and keep moving it down now what's going to happen with the stephen king shelf i don't know i know i need to make some space so as much as this rainbow looks really nice i might flip them and stack them rainbow wise like up i don't know i'll see how i like it we'll see how it looks We now have two shelves <laughs> alphabetized. 
Um, and then we have the Stephen King shelf. So, Okay, you know what that's not that bad I don't actually hate that um, I might rearrange it a different way I kind of like the idea of it going like up and around but I don't like how that actually looks so I might change it So now we're getting into the annoying parts because these shelves are pretty tall um, and then obviously I have to move all the three on the bottom up and keep moving them down. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking I'm going to pull all the Stephen King books out so it gives me a little bit of space to kind of work with and move stuff up and down. Um, and then once I'm done all the alphabetizing, I'll put the shelf back in because then I'll know that that shelf just needs to come out. Does that make sense? I changed outfits because shit was getting warm. It's now officially warm in this room. So this has been, I don't know how many seconds, minutes for you guys, but this has been just these two shelves in this has been 35 minutes. <laughs> and so, um, I heard, I've already texted Jeff complaining about it. And so he's like, just stick with it. You got it. It's going to get worse before it gets better, which is fair. Okay, so here I am organizing some stuff, and you may wonder why I put up this meme of this dog having an existential crisis. That is because I watched this footage back and realized that my ass, my badonk donk ass, was eating my pajama pants, and no one needed to see that. Um, <laughs> so, enjoy this meme instead. Um, I've done those three shelves now. And so here's my thing. I think I figured out a secret on how to do this. So what you want to do is in every shelf, because this is like, these are like A's to, to D. This is, you know what I mean? As you keep building it up, you want to make sure you have room for about like five or six books on each shelves. Like, and that's when you sort of keep moving them down. That way, anything you put up, you have sort of room to kind of fill, fill it in. Does that make sense? <laughs> I'm gonna keep doing it. It's working for me right now. Uh, it just finally like clicked in on how, like what might be the easiest way to do this. Again, just covering my butt because my my butt just <laughs> inhaled pajama pants. <laughs> God, uh, <laughs> I wish you knew how much I hated this clip. <laughs> God. Oh, I've been at this exactly an hour now <laughs> and so I am taking a break you know I have a lot more stuff to do there's still also like 40 books elsewhere in my house that I've read that I need to <laughs> mm. okay well it's now five and a half hours later <laughs> I took a massive break and I finished putting up all my red books Mm -hmm. But then I started to sort of flip them to make space like you know when you stack them. I'll show you it looks Horrible. I started flipping them like this To make space because I, I th This is right to the ceiling. I ideally would like to have those not be up there But I don't have enough space. This is all the space I have. I've only made this much space um uh -huh. So now I'm wondering if I just leave it. Um, thing is, is I don't know where to put Stephen King books. Like I would like them here, but I don't, oh my God, I don't know what to do. Okay, so I didn't expect this to happen, but I'm thinking of unhauling some of my red books. It's gonna be a simple, does this bring me joy thing. And if I don't remember anything about the book, I'm going to put it in a pile to unhaul. Hopefully, hope, hopefully that'll free me some space. But I'm looking at some of this stuff and I'm like, I don't know what any of this stuff is. Do I care? So 
that's gonna be another video. I'm gonna do it now, but I'm gonna make a video about sort of maybe saying bye or saying thank you to the books I've read and sending them off to another life. You know, one of those kind of ceremonial things. But for now, I think I'm just gonna work my way through alphabetically. And if it doesn't invoke good mems or I literally don't know what the fuck the book is about or if I don't think I'm ever gonna read it again, I'm gonna put it in a pile. I didn't think that this would happen. But here we are. Well, it's the next day. <laughs> I ended up doing this for about 10 hours yesterday. Um, it is mostly done. I still have some things I need to do, but for the most part, it is organized. Um, it does go up to the ceiling, which I didn't want it to do. And the Stephen Kings are back in rainbow order. So um, I'm pretty satisfied at where it's at right now. I will give you guys sort of a tour but one I, one thing i do want to do is there is this <laughs> stephen king shelf over here that i want to get rid of any doubles that i have because i have like seven copies of pet cemetery and i'm like <laughs> why but yeah a little bit more of that and then uh, maybe i'll give you guys a tour really easy for me to plan out what i want to read because i just flick the book down you see that and anyway, it's fun but today is still a part of Gooch week, you know, that period between Christmas and New Year's. I have two Pillsbury grams I just made and I'm gonna eat them. And then I'm going to turn that into fuel to continue to do these bookshelves. So I moved some of the books <laughs> that were there. This is the first time I've seen the floor over here in like <laughs> months. I'm just being totally honest. Um, but this is what it's looking like. So it's looking okay. I still don't know what I'm doing with these. I don't want to talk about it um these need to go somewhere else there's some space now in the stephen king shelf these are some of the kings that i'm getting rid of just because i have multiple copies um there's some secret stuff over here but yeah so that's kind of how that's working uh the plant needs to stay there because this <laughs> i'll show you this is kind of silly but the support beam is like tied to this cart <laughs> so the plan has to stay there also i have nowhere else in my house to put the damn thing so it's there but this cart can move back and forth which most of the time it hangs out over here um but yeah i think for the most part this is done i did it i don't know how but i did it yay